Here we have another unboxing video review, this time of the Marvel Studios' The First 10 Years Avengers Infinity War 3-pack featuring the Iron Man Mark 50, Thanos, and Doctor Strange. Now, finally, after six months, I finally have this set. A uh, little bit of damage on the box here and there. I picked it up at a local toy convention, actually. Would you believe it? Uh, it it's been... Yeah, you know, hobby shops here and there. It was on retail for a while. I just never bothered picking it up because uh, people were selling it for, I don't know, 120 130 dollars for the set. But luckily, the toy convention, um, there was a vendor who was selling it cheap for about $90. So yeah, I, I got four or five dollars off of it as well so I, I i lowered the price i asked for a lower price and he gave me five dollars off so that's that's pretty cool I'm, I'm very very happy with it i did not want to pay more than a hundred dollars for the set and i think i got it up at a better price than i was asking for so it's essentially just a repack of certain figures this is thanos which was released as a builder figure but with better paint apps on his chest uh the open gauntlet and two new head sculpts then we have the mark 50 which which lights up and because of that that sacrifices that whole chest articulation basically the same figure and we get a new and improved Doctor Strange figure which was which we already had from the Doctor Strange movie line and this time we have the uh, effects for the uh, time stone uh, and then uh, we've got a brand new head sculpt for Dr. Stephen Strange, which looks more like uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. Cumberbatch. So, yeah, let's get it open. Uh, I wasn't going to open this one because, you know, I wasn't going to display it. I was going to keep it in box. Uh, primarily because of the artwork that it had on the side. And I was really just completing uh, this, the, the boxes as well for the artwork. And... Because the completest in me, the completest in me, just really wanted to get all the first ten years, and this was the last piece that I needed for my collection, and so I have it. So that's pretty good. Okay, uh, right now I'm seeing. I, 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 I don't think there's any quality issues at first glance. So let's take a look at Iron Man first. This is the first figure. So, so far, so good. Not a lot of paint issues on him, and that's the battery area. And I figured, you know, I'd have to remove the batteries, so I decided to just, you know, let's just open this one. It's no use keeping it mint in box because you're gonna have to remove that to prevent it from leaking. There's a little bit of looseness to it, maybe because if this is a new chest, it wasn't the original articulated chest that we had. Very loose shoulders. Um, the head is, wow, super loose. But paint apps are actually pretty good on this one. Um, I'm, I'm liking the paint apps on this one. Not a lot of uh, excess paint of the blue here and there. I think they did a good job on this particular head sculpt. It's probably it's the same one. I've already sold my Mark 50, so no really no way of com comparing it. So he's got the unarticulated arms or hands. Uh, they just swivel, but they don't have any joints. Uh, with them. So that's the same one we've got. We've got the single packed uh, Mark 50. So you can put the repulsors, the repul repulsor blasts right here. And I think these are the same ones which I've reviewed months ago. So, okay. Psh, 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 psh. Yeah. I wish they could have added something to this, like the uh, the wings or more of his pods that have blasters, maybe weapons of some sort, just to make the, the pack uh, a little bit more valuable uh, than what it is, you know, just a little bit more fan service to it. So, okay, bicep swivel, hinge elbow, okay, seems to be okay. And then we've got the hips, so far so good. Okay, very tight on these, so. So he's actually looking pretty cool. So let's check out. Oops. <laughs> almost, uh, almost lost an eye right there. So the hands, uh, they do swap out. Okay. Pretty cool. And they have articulation. 
So yeah, very, very nice. All right, on to Stephen Strange. So he's got an extra fist, which to hold the, the effect, the magical effect, I suppose. Can I remove this without removing the adhesive? Yes. Wow, that's, that's pretty soft. Unpainted. Um, nice detail on that um, magical effect. Okay, this is what I'm curious to about really the uh, the time the time gem effect. Uh, it's it's attached to his entire forearm. It's it well to his forearm and to his hand. So there's no alternate hand for that, and he's stuck with it. Uh, whereas this one, he has the the one. Where you can do the magic, uh, where you can open portals, you could swap it out with this hand and do the uh, shield magic thing. This is it. Just it's too. It's a little bit softer than I remembered from the original Doctor Strange, and I thought that one was painted. This one is just not. Un, it's just unpainted. So okay. Ayavagamoto right here, and a really nice looking ben uh, Benedict Cumberbatch uh, likeness of this head sculpt. I really like it. Okay, and of course the, let me just check this. Book of Levitation. Uh-huh. Looks to be the same. Different color though, but uh, a little bit lighter, I think. So yeah, pretty cool. And this is the, the only one I was on. He should have, this is what he should have done. Thanos, I've come to bargain. Thanos, I've come to bargain. <laughs> That's what he should have done. Unbelievable. Yeah, Thanos was right. He should have used the time stone. So, okay, let's check for articulation. Oop. Ball joint neck on a hinge, a little bit loose. Ball joint upper torso. Wow, very tight shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, ball hinge wrists. So is this one, but hindered by the effect. Wrist can go like this. Okay. Uh, hips are hindered by the waist cape, but they do have ball joints. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Okay, so far so good. Calf articulation. Ball hinge, ankles with the rocker pivot. Okay, and I'm just being very careful because you know my experience with Hasbro, I always get the uh, the, the quality issues, the factory defects with the missing joints and all that, the frozen joints. So just being being very safe with it. Okay, so enough of that. And on to the Mad Titan Thanos, and people are actually after just this particular figure. Everyone's buying the set. And selling off both the Doctor Strange and Iron Man figure now, for obvious reasons. This is the I don't have the bath anymore. I don't have the Builder Figure Thanos anymore. But from the looks of things, this one I think is the more accurate uh, painted and uh, Thanos uh, figure that we've gotten from Marvel from Hasbro. Uh, the purple color uh, looks to be brighter a little bit tinge lighter than the BAF that we've got but more importantly I think what people are getting out of this is the head sculpt uh, really fantastic uh, head sculpt we've seen on him, on this figure it's got the angry face and the more serious looking head sculpt uh the original the bath figure had just a smiley face the gold on his armor this one has some effects uh some tampos on it made it really pop out uh, versus the other one that was just really gold which is there's nothing wrong with that it was just this one is just a better version i think but the legs look to be the same uh, the gauntlet at least the forearm part looks the same but this one this time we have a newer a new sculpt which is the open-handed one 
Yeah, which I thought was pretty cool. And if you have the Nomad Captain America, you could do that, and Captain America would be holding on to it. So, so that's pretty cool. So articulation for the figure looks to be okay. Nothing, nothing funny about it. Uh, still ratchets, still tight. Okay. Okay. Bye. Double jointed knees. Same like this one. Okay. No frozen joints here and there. And I guess I got lucky. I think I got lucky with this set. Uh, there's, there's no issues, no paint chips, no nothing like that. If you wanted to get the extra head and the extra arm, uh, with a closed fist and you you feel that you you don't want to track down the previous waves the build a figure wave and get the figures and all that there is uh i think an asia exclusive greatest hits infinity war waves uh infinity war wave of figures where they repack uh the major characters with the thanos build a figure uh pieces and spider-man will have oh sorry yeah, Spider-Man will have the clenched fist gauntlet arm, the uh, armored Iron Spider-Man, whereas the Thor Thor figure with the Stormbreaker uh, will have the smiling head sculpt. So, I guess I guess that's cool. So, if you want to complete your Thanos, you don't want to buy the previous figures. You can get that Greatest Hits. Just wait for the Greatest Hits wave to get released. Um, I think it's an Asia exclusive, so only stores in Asia will probably get it. Um, but Online stores will probably off be offering it as well. So if you're outside Asia, you can still probably get it. Final thoughts on the set. Should you get it? If you haven't picked up any of the figures in previous waves, definitely. It's an awesome, awesome set. Uh, it really brings you back to that scene in the movie, Avengers Infinity War. If you've already gotten the figures and you probably have the BAF, you don't have to get the set. Um, you can always find the pieces here and there. Uh, you can buy the figures separately on eBay or or uh, at conventions, other hobby shops and whatnot. You can trade them off with collectors. You don't really have to get the set if you're not that of a completist. Having said that, um, I think the set is still a great, great addition to any uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe uh collection that you may have even if you've already had previous incarnations of these figures because these are improvements of that particular figure primarily i think the set is for the completest uh particularly if you're after the first 10 years set just like me the figures on their own i think have their own merit and value in any marvel cinematic universe collection so with that, the figure the figure set three pack is going to get a nine out of ten for me. I think it's great. Uh, I think it's wonderful that Hasbro is giving us these collectible type of series numbered um, type of Marvel Legends box set. I hope they do more uh, because this is the only line I'm really interested in collecting. Uh, especially now that they've got new technology and face painting and paint application on the figures. I think Marvel Legends, was particularly the Marvel Cinematic Universe figures, is headed in the right direction. So there you go, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this little video review, and thanks for watching.